Hello and welcome to this Tray Radiators video. In the last few videos we've done, we've been looking at the different colours you can have for cast iron radiators. And once you've chosen the size and colour of the radiator you want, there's just one more thing to consider. If the radiator is over 1200mm in length, it will overhang the delivery pallet the Tray Radiators deliver it on. For that reason, the radiator that you've ordered will come in two pieces. Therefore, you'll need a joining tool, and Trade Radiators will let you know whether you need one or not via email when you order your radiator up. The other reason these radiators can come in two bits is because they're very, very heavy, and that it's easier to move them down to smaller sections so they're more manageable weights and sizes. So we're going to show you very easily now how to put your radiator back together when it's been delivered in your home. I hope you enjoy this video. So just to make clear, you can see that there are lots of lovely different colours you can get these radiators in. And if you look at this section here, we've got it prepared for you to show you how to do this particular task. If you look closely, you'll see we've got a rubber washer on here like so, and also a threaded insert here that will actually hold the two radiators together in a minute. So let me just quickly strip down this radiator. Now the first thing to note is that your end caps actually have a left hand thread, which means they undo and tighten up in the opposite way to which you're probably used to. So to do any task like this, you'll need these end caps removed. So if we have a look down inside this sectional radiator here, you'll see that for every joint on the cast iron radiator, you'll have a small nipple that will actually join the two together. And that also has a small rubber gasket. The good thing about this is you can feed your connecting tool all the way down to the right section that you want to tighten up or loosen off uh, without having to do four or five sections, you know, one at a time. So that helps loads there as well. If we look more closely at the nipple itself, you'll now find out why turning it one way will actually bring two sides together. If I pop off our rubber gasket here, you can see that it actually has two threads that are going towards each other. It's not just a standard single thread. You can see that those two threads are going against each other and meet in the middle, which means that when we tighten it up using our special cast iron tool, that'll bring both cast iron sections together by twisting it one way. So what we do when we're preparing to do this job is we make sure our rubber gaskets are pretty much halfway down where those two threads meet in the middle. And then remembering that this is left hand thread, just turn that in half a turn like that and do the same with the one at the other end. And that turns in there like so. So if you get a closer look, we've got our twin threaded piece here with our rubber in the middle just there. What we need to do is just get this bit started in the main side of the radiator so that bit doesn't fall out. And then we can just push this piece over to meet it. And even now you should be able to just get your fingers in there, turn that the same way. And you see now that that has got top and bottom. So now that we've got both nipples started, it's just important to just say, tighten up one turn this side, one, two, and then do this side and just alternate. Don't tighten up one side straight away because what that potentially does is it pulls the two of these out of line and it makes it impossible for you to tighten them up though. There's a few there. A few there, just like that. And as you can see, those two rubbers are now marrying up nicely. And then all you need to do is get uh, either a large screwdriver or an iron bar or something like that. Pop that through the hole and then just nip this up. It's important to remember to not to over tighten these joints here because they do have a rubber gasket in there and that should really easily make a nice watertight seal uh, on all of the sections that you do. If you do have a torque wrench, set your torque wrench to 200 newton meters and that should be perfectly fine for making sure we've got a watertight seal. If you don't, which most people don't, um, just make sure you give it a nice good nip up and make sure that you've sealed up that rubber washer nice and easily. So there you go. I hope this video has given you a better idea of uh, how to put together cast iron radiator sections and also why they might come in two pieces sometimes or maybe even more. If you need any more help, please visit the website at traderadiators.com and thanks ever so much for watching. Bye bye.